Hi guys, in this video, we will learn about the types of inheritance. Watch the entire video because we have a quiz question for you at the end and one lucky winner will get an exciting merchandise. But before we go ahead, do click on the subscribe button to see all the exciting stuff we are going to bring out and hit the bell icon so that you know when we are going to bring out a new video every week for you. Now, before we go ahead, let us find out the meaning of inheritance. Inheritance is one of the major features of the object-oriented programming in C++. It allows user to create a new class, also known as the derived class, from an existing class, which can be called as a base class. The, de the derived class inherits all the properties from the base class and can have additional features of its own. Let us now see the different types of inheritance in C++. The first and the most basic form of inheritance is single inheritance. The second is multi-level inheritance. Next is hierarchical inheritance. Then we have multiple inheritance. And last but not least, hybrid inheritance. So one by one, let us explore what are they. Let us start with single inheritance. Now suppose we already have a class animal being used in our program. And there is a need for another class dog. Then in class dog, of course, we can reuse the code written in class animal. So here we can apply inheritance. So an inheritance where we have only one superclass and one subclass is known as single inheritance. Fine. Next is multi-level inheritance. Well, in this type of inheritance, a subclass inherits properties from a superclass, which is already inheriting properties from another class. So you can see here we have inheritance at multiple levels. Well, here this class dog is acting as a superclass of class puppy. And at the same time, the same class dog is acting as a subclass of class animal. And of course, this class animal is the superclass of class dog. And this class puppy is the subclass of class dog. So here if you notice, this class puppy is actually indirectly inheriting the properties from class animal. Fine. So this is what is known as multi-level inheritance. The next type of supported inheritance is hierarchical inheritance, which we already saw in our demo. In this type of inheritance, there is only one superclass. And we can have multiple subclasses. Right now, we have two. Well, you can have as many subclasses as per your requirement. Fine. Now, moving on, we have multiple inheritance. Well, in this type of inheritance, there is only one subclass, but multiple superclasses. For example, a teacher is a person. And a teacher can also be an employee. So this subclass of teacher can inherit from superclass of person and the superclass of employee. Quite simple, isn't it? Now, to use multiple inheritance, the code is bit different from what we saw in our demo. While applying multiple inheritance on class teacher, what you can do is you can use a colon followed by the public and then the class name like we usually do. Then give a comma followed by public and then another class name. So in this way, if you have more classes from where you want to inherit properties, then you can give another comma here and mention the other class names. Nice and simple. Lastly, we have hybrid inheritance. Well, this type of inheritance is the mixture of two or more inheritance. For example, this upper half represents hierarchical inheritance because we have one superclass and 
multiple subclasses. But the bottom half represents multiple inheritance because we have one subclass and multiple superclasses. So in such a case where we have two or more types of inheritance combined is known as hybrid inheritance. Now if you take a look at this example, you will find that a bowler and a batsman are cricketers. So they can inherit from the class cricketer. And an all-rounder in cricket is both bowler and batsman. So this inheritance actually makes sense in the world of cricket. Fine. Now, from the interview perspective, it is very important for you to remember all the different types of inheritance supported in C++. And it is also very important for you to remember at least one or two examples for each type of inheritance which you can relate with your day-to-day -day life. Now that we have an understanding about the types of inheritance, are you ready for the quiz? Look at the pictures on the screen and tell us what type of inheritance do you observe in it. Answer in the comment section below. One lucky winner would receive an exciting Intern Shala Trainings merchandise. Hope you enjoyed learning about the types of inheritance. This video tutorial is a part of Intern Shala Trainings Programming with C and C++ Training Program. And to learn fundamental programming concepts of C, C++, such as variables, loops, conditional statements, functions, arrays, pointers, object-oriented programming, and general application development, visit the link in the description. To learn exciting new concepts and skills on the go, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to stay tuned.